Hey, what's up guys, I'm Nizio Cole, and today we're going to be reviewing the season finale of Stargirl. Before we get into this, remember spoiler warning for anything for Stargirl season 1. Now, I've got to say, this was a... Uh a lot less than I expected, but it still was a pretty good finale as far as finales go. So I'm gonna talk about some of the parts that I really liked in this episode. So first off, it was really, really well structured. They didn't, I, I like that they didn't really go out of their way to do something crazy and then have it fail. Like they went the safe route and have it just be not not as predictable, but it was, it was a pretty good finale. In all honesty, I really thought Pat was going to die, especially when it showed the shot of the blood coming out of his ear and that he was actually resisting because, you know, it makes sense that Pat, of all people, would resist the reprogramming. I thought it was pretty funny when they, they started going after the gambler's money and donating to charities. I honestly, really, when I saw Henry, I didn't even expect that it was Brainwave. Honestly, Brainwave was probably one of the most unexpected deaths ever because he just seems, he just seems so powerful. He just seems like he just can't be stopped. Uh, but I, I honestly really, really did not expect that. I honestly thought it was Henry and that they were gonna, you know, they were talking in the hall and they're, they're hugging and stuff. And I'm like, you got, you guys gotta go. I'm like, dude, you guys gotta go. Um, but it, I guess it was... It was brainwave and i guess yeah it was it was pretty satisfying but especially you know when yolanda was like don't kill don't kill um to rick and uh rick was actually the one that ended up not killing and yolanda was the one that actually killed someone so yeah, i thought that was a, a pretty funny like or just ironic the fact that rick changed his mind at the last second to kill grundy was uh pretty interesting you know i just feel like you don't really think like he had never really fought Grundy like where he was in the position to kill him but, but it was pretty interesting seeing how seeing someone in their most vulnerable position changes your opinion on them and the other thing that I really really liked about this finale was the end the end was just it was just surprisingly wholesome I kept waiting for that like cliffhanger for them to be in like those like dominator stasis dream pods from the um the dominators crossover or just some like crazy cliffhanger but there wasn't and it, i mean if you think about it pretty much every arrowverse show has had some kind of cliffhanger or just crazy thing happen at the last part of the finale uh spoilers for all the shows i'm about to talk about um if you think about to the flash they literally the, he flew into the black hole and then it was just it just cut it just cut and you had to wait until season two to find out what happened if you think to arrow season one uh, Tommy died. Well, Arrow Season 1 was more of a concise finale, but as far as Legends, uh, Rex Tyler from the JSA crashing into uh, their ship and is like, don't go to 1942. You're like, what? what's going to happen in 1942? So it just seems kind of weird that it was just surprisingly wholesome. I mean, they did have that one bit at the end where it was like, I'm Sylvester Pemberton. I'm looking for Pat Dugan. He moved out. So that could be interesting to see what happens in season two. But I really like the Christmas scene. I really like how they have, they, they really spent the season building up that sort of team, uh, JSA team, you know, they had the Christmas party, which I thought was pretty cool. Like they have on the flash every year. And it was just really cool seeing them all together just happy, you know? Um, I, I'm honestly really interested to see what they do for season two. I haven't looked at any of the stuff that any of the production people have said. They might actually reveal some things at the DC Fandom later on this month. So I'm going to be looking out for that. And if they do reveal something crazy, then I'll probably make a video on it. But uh, yeah, it's pretty much all I had to talk about. There wasn't really that much to talk about for this episode. It was a really nice finale. It wasn't the craziest thing ever. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions, comments, or theories about Stargirl down in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.